I've always had a passion for being around and learning about animals. When I was younger, going to zoos and animal parks was always a part of my life. I wanted to share my passion with family and friends, so I started working with people that loved animals as much as I did, and my YouTube channel was born. We are here, we are back in Pennsylvania at Clyde Pillings Reptile Land. I have some awesome videos planned for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy. Welcome back to my Animal Education Series. Today I'm here with Jeff at Clyde Pillings Reptile Land. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So we're going to talk about the benefits of backyard snakes and having them around your home, and why you shouldn't kill them. So let's start off with, what kind of snakes do we have here? We have some rat snakes. Uh, I have a yellow rat snake native to the southeastern United States. And you're holding a black rat snake with some color pattern to it yet. Sometimes they're jet black. And they're native to Pennsylvania. Uh, they call them rat snakes, partly because that's what they eat, but um, mainly mice, you know, at, at this size. So that is a benefit of, of having these guys around your house because they help control rodents. And most people don't like rodents just crawling through their walls. Well, you know, mice and, and rats can be very destructive. They can spread disease. And they actually compete with humans for food. Because they, if they if given the opportunity, they will eat your food. Um, so nobody likes to have rodents around their house or in their house. But unfortunately, many people also don't like to have snakes around their house. But if they know that the snakes won't harm them and can benefit them by controlling rodents, that's a good thing. Many people who have watched my channel have, uh, have family members who unfortunately killed snakes. And they've got to teach their family members to tell them that there's actually a lot of benefits that happen around their home that you shouldn't kill them because which do you hate more, mice or snakes? And well, most of the time the answer is mice. Yeah, and, and sometimes they'll kill them thinking that they're venomous. Or sometimes they will be venomous. Uh, but the benefits are still there. Yes, there's a, a danger from a, a venomous snake, uh, especially if you have dogs or children. But um, they still eat rodents. You know, all snakes are carnivores. They eat other animals, and mainly it's rodents. Uh, some species are more specialized. But uh, the benefits are certainly outweigh uh, the negatives. And for us nature lovers, the additional benefit is getting to see wild animals in their natural habitat. Because you can go to a zoo and you can try to recreate the best you can, but it still doesn't really compare to the wild. And seeing them in the natural habitat is pretty awesome. It is really cool seeing stuff out in the wild, uh, especially, you know, things that people just don't see all the time. It's one thing, like you said, to see them in a zoo, but to see them out in the wild is pretty neat. You feel that makes it more special, because when you go to a zoo, you're expecting to see, like, okay, I know I'm going to go see this anymore, I know I'm going to go see this. In the wild, it's kind of a surprise, you kind of value it more, if you will. But I know I definitely do if I see an animal out in the wild. I kind of think it's more special because you don't know you're going to see it. Like even seeing box turtles out on this little short I, video I filmed, like, it's kind of more special than at my house because mm -hmm. I didn't expect it to be there. So what are, what are your favorite things about getting to see like snakes in the wild and around your home? Uh, it's just neat to see them and come across them. <clears throat> when I lived in the south the first time I came across a cotton mouth, it was just amazing. It was really cool. And he was flashing his mouth wide open. And uh, when I approached a little closer, it just took off and went in the water. And that was a neat experience. I'll never forget that. Because he didn't try to harm you at all. No. He, he might have been considered dangerous, but he just wanted to get away. Because you're obviously a lot bigger than a little three foot snake. So he, he doesn't want to get harmed. And, like, please correct me if I'm wrong, but venomous snakes have, don't want to just waste their venom on it. Well, the venom is a method of subduing their prey. Um, if they bite someone and inject venom, it's more incidental. It's not a defense. Their biggest defense is their camouflage. And in the case of the cotton mouse I just mentioned, they're very hard to catch because they run away. They go in the water. 
So what are some of the other snake species that you can find around your home? Well, uh, snakes like garter snakes are commonly found. Brown snakes, decay snakes, ring neck snakes. These are smaller snakes that eat slugs and worms. But uh, I would say the garter snake is probably one of the most common snakes found throughout the United States. Um, and they eat things like toads and frogs and slugs and worms and things like that. Um, but that doesn't mean people don't still mistake them for something mm -hmm. that they think can harm them. Or if someone doesn't, just doesn't like snakes, uh, they still get killed. And, and they should be left alone because they're, they're harmless, they're non-venomous, and um, they're not going to hurt anybody. I remember some of my earliest childhood memories of snakes were with mm -hmm. garter snakes. And then we also have hognose snakes, which are really interesting. They eat toads, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, they're pretty specific on their uh, diet. They're toad eaters. They have that turned up nose. They can root around in the soil, find toads, and they eat toads. Their, their uh, method of eating is sort of sloppy. They're, a, uh, they, they're not constrictors, and of course they don't have venom. Uh, they just grab and consume. So something like a toad or like in the garter snakes, a, uh, a worm or a slug isn't going to be much of a problem to eat. They're not going to do them harm. They're like a mouse, <clears throat> which can bite. Unlike a mouse that could bite like so, stuff like that. If you come across a hog nose in the wild, and first it'll flatten out its head and act really uh, cobra like, cobra like, and intimidating. If that doesn't work, it'll writhe around and roll over on its back with its mouth hanging open, like it's dead. And even if you pick it up and put it back on its stomach, it'll just flip back over on its back. So that's pretty cool to see. I've only seen videos on YouTube and Facebook, but every time I see it, I'm so entertained. I end up re-watching it and re-watching it. Really interesting. Well, thank you so much for telling us about these backyard snakes. Sure. Uh, I would try to do some hand gestures, but they're kind of locked together with a black rat snake right now. So, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and also check out my Instagram, at Culture. As always, see you next week.